What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Today we are talking about the Blue Spark Digital. This is a condenser microphone that works with the iPhone, it works with the iPad, it works with Macs. It has a direct lightning connection for easy connection to your iOS devices. And this is a very, very good sounding mic. Now, the Blue Spark doesn't have all the bells and whistles of its bigger and more popular brother, the Blue Yeti. It doesn't have all the different polar patterns, for instance. But the, the Blue Spark does have one huge advantage over the Yeti, and that is that, of course, direct connection, that direct lightning connection to an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone. The Blue Yeti cannot directly connect to your iPhone or iPad. So if you're interested in recording on an iOS device, then you should definitely check out the Blue Spark. Now unboxing this device, you're gonna have a carrying pouch, you'll have some instructions, and of course you'll have the microphone itself. The instructions are, you know, your basic standard instructions. Color though, so that's kinda nice. Tells you everything you need to know. Tells you about the pop filters and stuff as well that you can get, uh, so we'll set that aside for now. And here is the little carrying pouch which is like a soft suede like filling pouch and inside you have the two cables here. Here's the lightning cable. This goes of course to your iOS device. And there's the cable in that goes into the uh, blue spark and here is the USB cable that goes into your Mac or PC. And both cables include a 3.5 millimeter input for zero latency monitoring and that's kind of awesome. Now the stand that comes with this device as you'll notice has a built in shock mount. And that's obviously very convenient. It means you don't have to go out and purchase a separate shock mount. Everything's in the box that you need and the microphone just screws right into the stand and it sits right in the shock mount itself. Benefit of that obviously is it's just a quick and easy setup that you don't have to fool around with too much. It's ready to go pretty much instantly. So here is the microphone itself. As you can see, it's fairly small. It's much smaller than a Blue Yeti has a nice finish there, although the finish does have a little, a uh, few defects that I've noticed. Uh, not Nothing huge, I'm just kind of nitpicky on that, but it's not, you can see it actually right there, it's sort of like a, a paint defect. Again, not a huge deal, but something I did notice. Now, you just screw your microphone down into the shock mount just like this, which is of course attached to the stand, and here it is folks, here's the full setup. Now, as I mentioned, it is possible to use a pop filter with the Blue Spark Digital, and actually, I highly recommend you use a pop filter. Uh, Blue does make their own that's specifically designed for the Blue Spark Digital, but if you don't have the latest version of the microphone, you're going to need to send it into Blue's service desk so that it can be threaded to accommodate that pop filter. Kind of an inconvenience, but at least Blue is willing to do that. Now, just a little side note, like the Blue Yeti, the stand does flip around to give you a little more headroom for storage. All right, so here is the Blue Spark Digital all set up in its stand and ready to go. All we need to do is plug in the cable. We're gonna plug in the lightning cable. Snaps right in like that. All right, on the opposite end, you're gonna see the 3.5 millimeter input and the lightning connection. So now it's just a matter of plugging the lightning cable into our iPad, and that's what we're gonna do right now. So there we go, and once you plug it in, just launch an application and you'll see the light for the Blue Spark Digital come on. Now, this little button here actually is a multi-function button. If you press and hold on it, you can switch between the volume and the gain. So you can adjust the gain by turning it up like that, and you can do the same thing for the volume when you switch back to volume mode, just like this, and you can press it once to quickly mute, just like that. Now, the microphone also includes on the rear a focus control switch, and this switch basically makes it so that when you turn it on, the mid-range frequencies stand out creating a warmer tone. So that's something that gives you even more options with regard to how this mic sounds. Now, one thing I mentioned earlier with the shock mount and the stand combination, it's kind of annoying because the mic acts like a little bobblehead in the shock mount, which, you know, normal shock mounts don't really have that problem, or, you know, your standard run of the mill shock mount. So something to keep in mind, I just found that a little bit annoying, but it's not a deal breaker by any means. Folks, this is the Blue Spark Digital Condenser Microphone. You'd be hard pressed to find a better microphone that checks off so many bullet points and that works directly with iOS. In fact, I recorded this whole video using the Blue Spark Digital. Folks, let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.